This Sunday, we are talking about how God can transform us. If we make Jesus number one in our lives, God wants to work in our hearts and he wants to work in our mind and change us to be amazing people that he wants us to be, to be more and more like Jesus every single day. If we look in the world around us, there are so many things that transform and change. Some of the change is good change and some of it is not as good. One of the examples that I really love is the example of the butterfly. It can start as a caterpillar and it transforms into a beautiful butterfly. Well, there are so many other things too. And as I was thinking about transformation this week, I was looking for a picture to go in the background today and I walked into the beginner's room and I saw this artwork hanging on the wall. Now a few years ago our Sunday school class decided to melt some crayons and we created this artwork. Now that is definitely a transformation. It doesn't quite look like the crayon that it started out as. And as we melted the crayon we created this piece of artwork. But as you can see, it's not the only piece of artwork here. There's another piece behind. And this is kind of a simple project you can create with crayons when you melt them. But if you put a lot of time and effort into your work, you could create something pretty amazing. And you can focus it into something that reflects God as well. And when we put these crayons together, we wanted to reveal the cross in the end. You know, God wants to change us in a way that's not just a simple way. He wants to do something absolutely amazing. And God did that even with Jesus. We read about Jesus when he was growing up. And in Luke chapter 2, verse 52, we read that Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and all the people. You know, I hope that each of us changes every single day and we're always growing in our wisdom and our knowledge and our stature, which by the way, just means growing up physically to be taller and maybe stronger. But I think it's that last part of that verse we just read that's most important. You know, Jesus grew in favor with God, and we too want to grow in favor with God. So I hope you're growing every single day in amazing ways, but I really hope you're growing into the beautiful and amazing person that God wants you to be, that you're praying every day, that you're reading your Bible, and you're talking to people and asking questions about who God is. And I just pray that every day you will keep growing and you will transform to be the amazing person that God wants you to be.